Hi there, Musketeers. Kay from Princess Minnie here, and by the title and the thumbnail of this video, you know what you're here for. It is my Father's Day gift guide, um, and it's going to be pretty organized. I have an Amazon section, I have an Etsy section, and I have a Shop Disney section. Um, there are going to be 25 different gift ideas, so I hope that you can find something that you might want to pick up for uh, a special man in your life for this Father's Day, or keep this video in mind, you know, for future birthdays or holidays, whatever, or maybe you just want to see some fun products. So this is going to be much like my Mother's Day gift guide. Right up here in the corner, I'm going to pop up some photos, and down in the description box below, there will be links to all of these products. Quick disclaimer, I am not affiliated with anything that's on this list. I just thought these things were really cool and I thought that that might help you kind of uh, with your Father's Day shopping. Now I will say I'm going to start with, like I did with my Mother's Day video, I'm going to start with the gifts we actually purchased. And so we purchased three gifts for John's dad for Father's Day. His birthday is right around Father's Day. Like every year it comes within a couple of days and my dad's birthday was the same exact way. So I grew up even celebrating Father's Day and my dad's birthday just like as a, a unit. Like you get double the gifts or you get double the amount you would have spent on gifts or whatever. So that's just kind of uh, to let you know with price wise why this got a little high. The first thing that we got for John's dad is some new cycling shoes, some Peloton spin cycling shoes because uh, my in-laws do have a Peloton bike. They love it. My father-in-law is about to approach his 150th ride and they only got it in like um, early March maybe of this year and he's in need of some new spin shoes. So we said perfect. He's a man who loves a practical gift. They're very, very pricey. So we were like, check off the big ticket item. We feel so good about that. We like to spoil John's dad for his birthday slash Father's Day because he is just like one of the most generous human beings you'll ever meet. And uh, he's also one of those people who doesn't really want anything. So this year we were excited because we knew he wanted some new cycle shoes. So there we go. We got him that and I think that a practical gift is always a good one. Um, and then we got him two more fun gifts. He's also, so he loves spin, he loves staying active, but this man is also the world's biggest ice cream addict. Like when my mother-in-law married him, she said she had to get used to him just getting out of bed in the middle of the night at like 2, 3 a.m. just to go down and eat some ice cream. So John and I like to get him um, some fun flavors of ice cream, and I just found out that Ample Hills Creamery, if you've been to Disney World, it's on the boardwalk, ships nationwide. There are a couple states right now that they can't ship to, um, but they are shipping to the majority of states. It's a little pricey. We got him six pints of ice cream, all of which look incredible. They're, it's not just like vanilla, mint chip, cookie dough. They're like very intense flavors. They have like black and white cookie pieces, which he loves. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get him the ooey gooey butter cake flavor they're famous for because that was sold out, but there were so many other great flavors. Um, like everyone can find something they like from Ample Hills. We got him six pints for $75, and I know that's really high, but he's a special guy and we like to spoil him this one, you know, one time a year. And that includes shipping. And if you've ever bought ice cream shipped to your house, like I feel like usually shipping for things that require refrigeration and specialty shipping, it's usually pretty high. So they factor it into the cost. So I was okay with that. Plus you had the option to get four pints or six pints and six pints was just a much better deal than the four pints, I guess, because the shipping was already factored in either way. So Ample Hills Creamery, uh, specialty ice cream shipped to our house and we'll, we'll get it to his house. And then the third gift goes along with that again, ice cream addict. So all of a sudden I just thought, I wonder if they make like little, we call them here, we call them koozies. I don't know if that's a regional thing. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about when you have like a cup um, or a, like a beer bottle or a soda can and you don't want to hold it because it's cold, right? So you put it in like a little cup holder. 
I thought, I wonder if they make those koozies or those, those holders for ice cream pints. And sure enough, they do. So we got one on Etsy and that was pretty inexpensive. I think including personalization, which was a really cool option, which was a very inexpensive upcharge and shipping, it came out to under like 13 bucks. So very excited. And if he loves it, which I think he will, it will be a gift that he can get like a new one every Father's Day or something like that. And I really want to get one for myself too, because I have recently found keto ice cream that I'm obsessed with which I'm not eating right now because I'm on a 60 day, no added sugars, even fake sugars thing. And oh, it's a whole other story. Let's keep going. But we uh, personalized his to say you wouldn't like it. Like most people probably put like a monogram, but we're like, we like the jokes in our family. So we put, you wouldn't like it. Cause both of our families growing up, if, if they were eating something they didn't want to share, they'd be like, that's oh, terrible. You'd hate it. You wouldn't like it. So we thought that might make him smile. So those were the three gifts we got for my father-in-law. Moving on. One, let's talk about gifts that are available on Amazon because depending on when you're watching this video, shipping time might be a factor for you. <laughs> and Amazon, I've had very good shipping even throughout the last couple of months. So here we go. All right, this first product is Disney related and I want you to know I'm picking one in particular, but this uh, Amazon seller does have a lot of the same thing in different themes. Here's what I mean. This is a seller called Inkist Prints and they have these amazing Disney art posters and they don't come framed but you can choose your size so if you just want like a five by seven postcard or they go much bigger and of course the price goes up you know as your size goes up but the smaller sizes are really inexpensive and I thought that this could be like a great thing for, you know, if your if dad has like a desk at work, he put it there and that's a little Disney in his office, or it really could just be great home decor. Um, like I said, they have a ton of great prints. Like they, I think they had Haunted Mansion, they had Jungle Cruise, they had some great ones. I picked Carousel Progress because even though everyone I know loves Carousel Progress, it just kind of feels like a dad thing. Like I bet there's not a dad out there who doesn't like or like respond to Carousel of Progress. This next thing was fun. Okay, so I didn't want to make this list super stereotypical in terms of um, like gender or anything, like things that typically are associated with Father's Day presents because you kind of know all of those standard ones. So I wanted to bring up some more fun things. Every guy I know likes candles. Every single one. But I feel like we don't usually buy candles for men. Well, it's time to change that. Men like candles. So this one I found on Amazon is great for if you have a, a, like someone in your life who loves camping. So it's supposed to smell like a real campfire. And then according to the seller, the mug is reusable. I read a lot of reviews. A lot of the reviews are really positive on this candle. Um, I didn't put anything in here that didn't get good reviews. And but no one really mentioned that I saw reusing the mug, but apparently you can do that. So you have a candle and then you have a mug. So it's a little on the pricier side, but specialty candles kind of run, you know, in the 20 ish dollar range. And this one is under that price. So could be worth a shot. And the last four things from Amazon all fall into the same category, which is backyard games. And so I want to go through these kind of quickly because they are all in the same category. The first one is a ring toss. I thought that would be like just good family fun. Like it seems like it's great for all ages. And I think you're going to want a lot of things that can be played in an open like backyard atmosphere this summer. Um, that's just my, that's my, my, my two cents on things right now without going too deeply into the current world issues we're facing, but you know, you might feel comfortable hanging out in, in dad's backyard. And uh, they're also portable games, so if you do get a chance to join a small group of friends or loved ones this summer, then you can be the one responsible for bringing a game. Another game is this portable cornhole game. I don't know if everybody calls it cornhole, but that's what we call it and that seems to be what they're called like on the internet in general this one i liked because cornhole boards when they're wooden are crazy expensive so this one got pretty good reviews it has a pretty decent price and it looks pretty durable and i think they did have it in very in like one additional size that was a little bit bigger um for a more expensive price tag of course but is it going to be as portable if it's bigger something you got to think about 
The next is one of my favorites that I haven't played in so long. People call it either ladder toss or ladder ball, and uh, it's it's exactly like what it sounds like. You take a, a ball and you toss it onto a ladder, and you see what rung it lands on. It's it's fun. It might be a little bit more difficult for the youngins, so depending on who you think you might be playing with, you might want to choose a different game, but thought that one was kind of fun and classic. And then the last one is something I've never seen before that I thought would just be really cool. It's a reversible rug board game. And on one side it has tic-tac-toe and super tic-tac-toe, which I've never seen. So it's just tic-tac-toe, but more spaces. And then the other side is checkers. And I thought for the price, it was a real steal. Like I think that could be good for a lot of people and just for a lot of indoor or outdoor fun. All right, now we're gonna move on to the Etsy section. And you know, so depending on when you're watching this video, you might wanna think about shipping times, but a lot of Etsy sellers also offer, you know, faster or expedited shipping. So that could always be, you know, something you consider. So the first one, like I said earlier, every guy I know wants candles. So I tried to find another awesome candle. Um, and this is one that's like, I think a traditionally more masculine scent, but that's what I gravitate towards with candles also, um, and really my scents in general. And this one is coconut bourbon. <sighs> so I figured bourbon for the traditional and coconut for the summer. I mean, I want to get this candle big time. <laughs> The next two items are similar. The first one is a little more simple and it's just like a leather bracelet. And um, I think it's for that guy who just wants a little stylish pop. And I can definitely see my husband rocking these. I really want to get him a very nice leather bracelet uh, because he oftentimes will just put like silly things around his wrist, like little hair ties or whatever, and he just likes the pop of color. So why not? Don't put any guy you know into a box. They might enjoy a bracelet. The second is a little bit more expensive, but it's also a little classier looking maybe, and it can be personalized with uh, family members' names. And I would definitely consider getting one of these for my husband with my name and our two kitty cats' names on it. Earlier I mentioned the ice cream koozie and the reason I thought about it was because I was thinking about traditional soda can or beer can koozies and this company I found has just beautiful ones. I really think that you know they're, they are traditionally masculine looking. Um, and my grandfather, he loved using these, so I really thought about like what would each man in my life like, and he would have really enjoyed this. And and they're they're also customizable, and mostly it seems like like sports team logos. But one person in the review section did actually have that they sent in a picture of their dog, and they etched the dog's name onto the koozie with the dog's I'm sorry the dog's picture under the koozies and put the dog's name underneath it. So that's another really cool idea. Another really simple, practical, yummy smelling gift would be some artisanal soap. We exclusively use artisanal soap um, just because I think it's it, it's just I can tell a difference in my skin. So it's something that I often get for my husband for like a stocking stuffer or his birthday just as a little extra add-on and this set to me just looked very nice and I thought it would go with a lot of different bathroom aesthetics. The next few things are t-shirts um, and other wearables and things that I actually would buy because I don't necessarily love seeing things that just say like number one mom or best world's best dad. Like I was looking for things that were a little funnier or a little more special to me in my opinion. And so this first one I thought would be great for any monster movie lover. I, I just, you know, get dad that shirt and get him like, um, a copy of like a Godzilla movie and you've just made his night. Like if he's into those monster movies, you got it. The next is a matching set and honestly I don't really see any reason why this also couldn't be like a mommy and me look, but it was advertised uh, for like Father's Day when I found it. And it's the, so the adult says Master Jedi and the baby says Young Padawan. And I think that if, if dad is just celebrating like his first Father's Day with a young one, or he has a young one on the way, or you wanna tell your guy that he's gonna be a father for the first time, I think any of like these would just be perfect for those. But again, I can also see like me rocking this with like a baby. Maybe not my baby, but a baby. <laughs> 
This next one is actually my favorite. Like, if if we had a kid, I would buy this for my husband in a heartbeat for Father's Day. So it says Papa Bear, and I feel like it looks rugged. It looks special, and you can also make this in a few different colors, all of which look nice, but I really especially loved the green color. So I think this would be, you know, great for anybody, honestly, any dad out there. I think this is really cute. These next two things are things I definitely want. Um, it, because in my house, I am like the sole cook, and that also extends to outside cooking. I am the griller, uh, but you know, in a lot of in a lot of times, the the men I know are the grillers, like my father-in-law, my brother-in-law. They're the grillers, so I thought of them when I put these two things on this list. So the first is a box to hold your grill tools, and like I need this in my life because mine are all over the place every summer. Oh, it's gross, and because I don't have like a little home for them, so it's a home for your your you know, your outdoor spatula and things like that. And it can be personalized and there are a lot of really beautiful options. And one is even a Yoda and it says like, you the best or Yoda best dad. So very cute, especially if you're a Star Wars fan, you could get it with the, the Yoda on it. And the last thing is a grilling plate. Again, something I totally need. Something that is specifically for, you know, putting all that yummy meat or your veggies or whatever you just cooked on the grill onto this plate as a holding station um, because I'm always just like, worried about my real plates running them back and forth from the kitchen to the grill so i think this would be great the options are really adorable again customizable which is awesome and uh this shop i do want to mention i tried to i tried to make sure right before this video that everything was still available this shop said they were on a short break I don't know how short, so by the time you watch this video, they could be back, but I would definitely wanted to make sure to include it because this is something that you could also look for for a Christmas gift, a future gift, you know, a, a birthday gift. So there you go. And before I get to the Shop Disney stuff, there are two items I wanted to mention that are both Star Wars related that um, I think would be perfect for a Father's Day gift. And these can be found at many different retailers. So I will put, I think I'm putting, I think I'm linking to GameStop down below, but you can find these at a lot of different retailers. So if you're already buying from like a Target or maybe a Hot Topic or an eBay or whatever, you might just find them there too and combine shipping. So think about that. The the first one is like my number one recommendation if dad is a Star Wars fan and likes Funko Pops or you want to get him started with a Funko Pop collection. It is a TV moment, a television moment Funko Pop and it's Mando with Baby Yoda. Like I mean, I just can't get over it. Like he's such a good caretaker even though he does not want to be in the beginning and Baby Yoda just loves him, right? So they have such a cool bond and I think that this is special even if you don't collect Funko Pops, it's just kind of a special collectible. The second, I'm gonna put a specific one up here but there are many of these. Get Dad a Darth Vader Funko Pop, right? Like ultimate dad, ultimate dad goals. <laughs> Darth Vader, the best father in the galaxy. And anyway, so I put up this one because I thought it was cool. It has like lights and sound and whatnot. Um, it might be a little bit harder to get your hands on. I'm not sure. It depends on the retailer, I think. And, um, but there are lots of other Darth Vader pops out there. So, you know, pick your poison. Now on to the six final items in this video. They are all from Shop Disney. The first is a Lion King puzzle. I mean, I've gotten so into puzzles recently, and this could be something Dad could do by himself when he needs a little alone time, or it could be a whole family activity. It's a 1,500-piece puzzle, so that's a lot of either alone or bonding time, depending on how, what Dad wants. But I had to pick a Lion King version, even though Shop Disney has lots of cool puzzles in stock right now finally um yeah so i had to pick lion king because mufasa he's one of the most well-known and mo most beloved disney dads the next is a super cute book all about darth vader being a dad and it's like a what if premise what if darth vader had decided to raise luke they leave leia out but <laughs> what if he had decided to raise luke and what would it be like raising a little kid with jedi powers all while still running the empire so and ruling the galaxy so i think that would be a really funny gift and also you could have if you have like a little kid or i think a big kid dad would like it just as much um, big kid like my age too, you know, um, for that special personalized touch. 
instead maybe even instead of a card you know it's something you could have on display all the time coffee table book or whatever but you could have like your kid write a note about like why they love dad or something like that I think that would be really special the next two things are really similar but I just love them and I would definitely get this for a dad in my life if he loves Star Wars so the first is this best dad in the galaxy pillow I feel like I have some pillows where I say to John like this is not a laying on pillow so the oils you know in our hair don't ruin it or whatever <laughs> so and I don't have a lot like that but I do have one or two and so if that's like in your house too you might just want dad to have like a just relaxing pillow that he doesn't have to worry about so that's kind of where I was going with that idea but they have that design on other things as well um, so that's something you could personalize like would dad prefer a mug or a pillow or whatever and the second is pretty much the same uh, different design but it's the father of the year I went with it in a mug form because I really liked it in the mug but again they had that in other styles like a travel coffee mug etc Okay, down to the last two things. So I like to include in these gift guides one pin because I my channel is largely founded around pins. So Disney pins, what is on Shop Disney right now that you could get dad? I just I thought that this family portrait pin of Lady and the Tramp and their kiddos just shows like, you know, Tramp's a great dad, right? So there you go. You have dad pin and these were Ellie of 4,000 and last I checked, which is right before filming and uploading this video, um, these were still available. So I think that would be a great either, you know, start dad off with a pin collection or add to the one he already has. And finally, if dad is a big Disney Parks fan or if he just really especially loves this one attraction, I just fell totally in love with this enchanted tiki room they call it a baseball cap on Shop Disney. It is really a snapback hat. It has the flat brim. Um, and I think it looks really cool. Like if you have like a cool dad or a young dad or a dad who thinks he's cool, um, <laughs> then I, I think the colors are super vibrant. This would be perfect. Perfect to wear around in the, in the regular world, but also especially perfect for the Disney parks whenever, you know, you might get to go. So friends, this was my list. 25 gifts for dad possibly for father's day or save it for a future event or future holiday future birthday whatever um and i would love for you to tell me what you liked in the comments down below because when i do a future gift guide it kind of helps me gauge what you guys kind of gravitate towards and look for things that i think you would like more um, tell me what other gift guides you would like because there aren't necessarily a lot of um, holidays upcoming so if there's a specific gift guide you'd be interested in let me know and I will be happy to do that one because I think these videos are really fun to research and really fun to put together um, and if you found something really really cool for Father's Day definitely put it in the comments down below um, so that anybody reading the comments can get another idea so thank you so much friends I'm gonna be back with much more content. I hope you're subscribed. I hope you have that notification bell icon on and I'll see you real soon.